What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today we are going to be talking about five ways to get more confident instantly. So a lot of people think that confidence is something you either have or you don't have. Well hopefully from watching my channel you know that confidence is something that you can develop over time. I've hopefully taught you that through demonstrated performance you can prove to yourself that you can do certain activities. That's confidence. So a lot of people when they learn this they think that confidence is more of a constant state that you're in. That is not true at all. It actually fluctuates a lot. There's certain moments during the day when you can feel very confident and there's certain times during the day where you can feel very unconfident and insecure. In fact, even before you do something, let's say you're about to go to a social event or you're about, you're, you're about to go on a date or you're about to give a speech, you might feel very unconfident during those periods of time. What can you do in those moments to make you feel more confident instantly? Well, if you do any one of these five things or if you do all five of them, I guarantee you you're going to feel a lot more confident doing that activity. So. Let's get into the first one. The number one thing, first of all, is to move around more. This is something that I use all the time, especially when I'm about to go out. Sometimes I'll just like go do some push-ups or do a workout before I, you know, maybe go out to the bars or maybe go out to a party or even if there's a date that I got coming on that I might be a little nervous about, I'll do some exercises. Kind of get your blood pumping. In fact, there was just the other week where I had a jujitsu competition. I was very nervous for this competition right before I was about to go on. But before I went on, I started doing my warm-up exercises. I started moving my body around a little more and started doing the movements that I would normally be doing in my jiu-jitsu match. So when I did that, I started to feel a lot more confident because I got my blood flowing. So if you're ever in a position where you feel very, very nervous, the first thing that you can start doing is to move around more. Number two is to talk to anyone, especially in social events. You might have some social anxiety before you're about to go talk to people, people that you don't know or people that you're trying to impress. What I like to do is I like to talk to someone where there's not really that much expectations about it. It might be just a random person over there. Or it might be a person that I might not necessarily want to date, but it's definitely someone that I can have a good conversation with. What you're telling your mind is you're telling yourself, hey, I can go talk to people. Hey, I can have an interaction with somebody and have it end okay. You know, maybe it doesn't have have to end where they're like they end up really liking you or something special happens but you're just telling your brain that hey I can have a conversation and it's gonna be okay so just talk to the first person that you see if you take an uber to a social event or something like that ask the driver how his day is going or if you have an uber pool or if, you know the first person you see at the party I would just talk to them the longer you wait to talk to somebody the less confident you're gonna be feeling about doing so but as soon as you break through that barrier dude it's so much easier so talk to anyone number three is to change your posture. If you're someone who sits very much like this, you got your hands in your lap, your head's down, you're hunched over, you're probably not feeling very confident. And guess what? You look like you're not confident either too. If you make yourself look more confident, what your body is going to do is it's going to release the chemicals that make you feel more confident. So you stand up straight, your head's up, you know, your eyes are a little bit more open, your body's more open to everybody. That's going to make you feel more confident because you're telling your body that I am more confident and you're telling the rest of the world that you are too. Sometimes I do this to like the extreme where like I'll actually reach my entire body up and then reach my hands to the ceiling and try and touch the ceiling on my tippy toes. If you do things like that you're opening your body up a lot more and it's just a good stretch that kind of gets your mind a little bit relaxed and, uh, and feeling more confident. But if you're hunched over and you're closed off you're telling your body, you're telling everybody around you that you don't want to be seen and you're not a very confident person. Tell yourself the opposite message with your body. Number four is to compliment somebody or do something nice for somebody. This is something that I do a lot. As humans, one of the great benefits about being a person is that when you do something nice for somebody else, you feel good about yourself. Like it's incredible that, that this feeling that we get from doing nice things for other people happens. That's why we're such a successful species. So one of the things that you can do is to use this to your advantage. Do something nice for somebody else. I usually like to maybe give somebody a compliment or make somebody feel better before I'm about to go in and impress somebody else. If I've shown that I can be valuable for that one person, it makes me feel more confident. It makes me feel more confident in myself that I can do good things for other people and that I should be wanted. Now this can be to a friend or this can be just to a random person that you're around. It doesn't matter who it is, but just giving somebody a compliment, bright, brightening up their day is going to make you feel that much more confident going into yours. All right, number five, the last tip is basically have smaller goals. If you're going into a social event, a party, a days or something, 
something like that and your goal is way up here, like let's say you walk into a date and you're like, I have to make this person fall in love with me and come home with me this night, <laughs> okay? That's a crazy goal. Probably not gonna happen, all right? But if you walk in with a simple goal like, hey, you know, I hope I can make this person smile today, okay? Or you don't even have to have that. I would say having a goal that's more based off of you is even better, okay? If I walk into a conversation, basically my goal is to just introduce myself, see if they're up to anything cool, and invite them to do something that we're doing if I think that they're cool. That's a really realistic goal that I can go for. It's not something that I'm hoping that she's going to like me. I'm hoping that she's uh, you know, going to be attracted to me or something like that. I'm not hoping for any of those things, and as a result, I feel a lot more comfortable and confident going into that interaction. If you're going in with your goals up here, no wonder you don't feel confident. In fact, I can even go back to my jiu-jitsu match. Before I went into that competition, one of the reasons why I felt so nervous was because I expected myself to win it. Now, I did end up winning it, but like that goal for myself was basically like, I have to win this competition or I'm a failure. No wonder I was so nervous before I went in, which probably, you know, if you're going in with a competition where there's a lot of other people competing, like there's a good chance you might lose. There's a good chance she might not like you immediately or you might not bring that girl home. So if you have that expectation on yourself, you're going to get nervous, okay? So don't put that pressure on yourself. Have smaller goals and they're gonna be a lot more achievable for you and you're gonna make yourself more confident day in and day out by accomplishing your goals again and again rather than seeing yourself as a failure. All right, cool. Well, those are the five things, you guys. Like I said, these are five things can, that can make you confident right now, but if you do these again and again, you're gonna feel more confident over time, okay? Learn how to live a more confident life by doing these things on a daily basis, and I guarantee you, you're not just gonna be confident in that moment, you're gonna be a more confident person. All right, well, thanks for watching, you guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, there's no reason why 75% of the people who watch this content should not be subscribed. So guys, if you're not subscribed, but you watch all my stuff, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. It really helps out with my channel, and you can get notified whenever I come out with a new video. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.